Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Deflector, a twin-stick bullet hell roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out here today. It's coming out in 1.0 on the 24th, but we apparently get a feature-complete version to check out a little bit early. So let's pop on in. I played this last in, like, December of 2021, so it's been a long time. But I remember it was very, very cool, but very early along. Uh, very focused on, you know, kind of reflecting bullets. Very high action. It was very cool. So I hope it still is. Okay, force removal of iteration requested. Awaiting response. Force removal request accepted. Removal complete successfully. Profile loaded successfully. Setting up new environment. Clean samples for new environment. New specimen. The experiment is ready to begin. Loading experiment. Welcome back, specimen. It's good to see you again. You may be experiencing issues with your cognitive systems, so I'll need to check if you're operating normally. Checking vitals, checking DNA assimilation rate, checking iteration cycle, everything seems to be in order. Let's run a few tests to make sure your directives are working. WASD to move. Whoop. Whoop. You got space to dodge. Works for me. Clearly a cooldown on the dodge. Uh... Okay, introducing simple threat. Perform two immune systems. I mean, I guess I just did it too fast. Some projectiles cannot be deflected. Gotcha. So it's Cuphead. We got, uh, we can reflect the purple, or the pinkish purplish ones. Okay, simple threat. But we also have, that's right, a boomerang. Uh, so the current specimen is capable of deflecting its own weapon. Deflect your boomerang three times to proceed. That's right. Oh, it's all flooding back to me. Just how cool this was. Non-standard specimen behavior. The specimen's active ability charges while in combat. Eradicator's ability allows you to throw two bo boomerangs for a period of time. Activate the ability and throw both boomerangs to proceed. Introducing a new mutation to the environment. Interact with the mutation to proceed. Choose one. Link. Dashing leaves behind an orb that remains linked to you by a laser that does damage based off of your attack attribute for a few seconds. There can only be one orb at a time. Deflecting four more projectiles grants you a shield for a short time. This seems cool. You get back here. Okay, I mean, it doesn't do a ton, and it has, like, some kind of a pretty nasty cooldown to it, but still cool. Whoop. Can't remember, can we like reflecting it, it starts to do more and more damage, I think. Or no? Not quite. Cut. I mean we could just like play it like normal too. We didn't want to have to do the deflecting, but I feel like that takes out a lot of the fun. Specimen cleared for field testing. Everything seems to be in order. Let's put your skills to the test. Go check on Oogles. The water bear has gotten rather attached to you. Or so she'll be helping you navigate through the zones. Well, hello. Great job, specimen. You're on your own now. I want to interfere with the experiment from now on. Don't worry, I'll be waiting for you in the hub as soon as you're back. Cell extraction. So we in it already? We, we done so? Boink. Boink. Let's go on a walk. Aww. Whoop. It's interesting, because we sort of want to, like... If we keep on reflecting this, we don't have to really worry... Oh my god. About tapping anything else. Growth. Exper exterminate all threats to obtain a core attribute. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. So as long as it's... Pretty close to us, we can just snap in a different direction. Like, I bet you I could even. Yeah! That's so nice. Like, the quality of life on that is, is so tight. It needs to be, but it is. We do have our E. I did not realize I was gonna be. Ooh, hello! Increase <laughs> your deflect attribute, which affects the damage you deal to. With deflected projectiles, including my boomerang, or not sure. <laughs> we, we took one damage, so who really cares? Cell extraction, they're both the same. I did 
200 there, but I think that's just because I hit on the way out and the way in. It's almost like a rhythm game in that sense. Like, since I can hit it from any direction now, like, I don't think it used to be the way. You could just keep on using your your boomerang in that way. Like, we definitely gain a little bit of it, like, attack speed up. Just a little bit of attack speed up if we go for the reflect. But it's not 100% crucial. Mutation source. Okay. But, like, maybe I should focus more on just reflecting their bullets than my boomerang itself. Gotta admit, it's really fun to, to reflect my boomerang, though. Summon Blossom, a bot that periodically shoots nearby enemies. Buttercup, a bot that has a chance to heal you for a an amount equal to the damage taken from a single source. A bot that has a chance to heal you for an amount equal to the damage taken from a single source after one second. I mean, that seems good. Damage is cool and all as well, but... Rest to restore health. I'm not really missing that much. I'm missing a whopping three. Yeah, now, juggling two. Draven making an entrance. So the thing is, we could get that one going, and then theoretically we could... If you keep them juggling forever... You sort of have that ability going forever, but what are the odds that you're going to be able to do that? Wait, hold on. I got to check something. That's kind of what I thought. So you can, like, hold on. Throw, dash. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, there, there's, like, the skill ceiling is probably really high. I want to run him through my, uh, my beam. Oh, God. Okay, just throw both. Reflect this back. Okay, good. Ooh. Or just stack them both up at the same time. I love how, like, I love how snappy moving between the world is. Through the grid. I know that's just like stage apparently zero, but there's just, there's very little nonsense. New stage load. I mean, this is, a, you know, showing up kind of throws a wrench in that a touch, but. So I'm guessing that was just a, like a tutorial and then we have like different characters. Is that sort of what's happening? Okay. Welcome back. Looks like your bio shell handled it well. I'm sure you have lots of questions, so give me let me let you have a little overview. I am Deflector, an artificial intelligence tasked with taking care of this place and making sure that experiments are running smoothly. And that includes helping you. Your main objective is to destroy the source of the virus, which has spread throughout the different areas that we have available. So yeah, we're starting a new run, basically. I'll provide you with all the support you need to increase your chances of success after each failed iteration. Oh! Boot. That is all the information I can share for now. It's time to start the experiment. Meta progress. Alas. Can't have it all. This is the hub. From here, you'll be able to explore all the zones affected by the virus. Explore them in any order. Every world provides you with different challenges. Also, don't forget, you're fighting a living organism. That means after you cleared one zone, it can affect another, making it harder. So plan your routes. I do like that system. Are these picking my route? Killing an enemy close to you summons a disc that spins around you for some time, dealing damage based off your attack. When struck by your primary weapons, enemies have a chance to release an explosion. Uh, this, this is good for like killing bigger groups more so. Like this could be, I don't know. Could it, de it depends if the explosion hits them or not as well. They're both kind of AoE focused. Hello, specimen. I'm on duty looking for a lost bio shell. Can you help me? Great. Why don't you take a look behind the blood waterfall? You can start from there. Excuse? 
I do not really know, you know, the difference between any of these. We'll just go from left to right. To the hollow hive. Hello. Room affected by an anomaly. Proceed with caution. Mutation or growth? I guess I'll take mutation, growth, cell, cell. Deflected projectiles are slower here. This does not really matter that much. What's this? Oh, I can, uh, I can deflect it. Interesting. Whoop, whoop. Got the other one over here. Bye. <laughs> Every six deflects, a deflecting turret is summoned to deflects projectiles passing through its radius towards nearby enemies. Taking damage summons a decoy. Nah. Oh. I'm into this. I'm into this. Let's go for this. The growth. Cool. That's, see, that's what I thought. Um? What on God's green earth? So that's just... That's just part of the map. Wait, was there... Surely there must have been something that let me know what that was <laughs> that, that was going to be coming. Like, I heard the sound. I heard the sound. But if you don't know exactly that a giant worm is going to come out. Surely there was, like, a light-up thing that I just missed, right? I hope to God. Okay. Do both of those count as deflects individually? I think they might. So the big boy did 10 damage to me. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. We could like abuse the wall. Oh. Look at that. We can we can stack them. We could if we have a perfect distance from a wall, we could have this going infinitely. And you see what that means? Invincibility. I've broken it already. There, I mean, not entirely cuz like I'd have to get a perfect distance away and you also have to set it up. Yeah, it's It's not like something you could just do cleanly in the middle of action. But it's pretty it's pretty good nonetheless. Pretty good nonetheless. Get some rest. 25 heal. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, I, I just love how snappy it is to get back to the grid and move on, get in, get out, get out, get in. It's really good. I got a mutation. Deflected projectiles are slower. Oh. Oh, that's right. Those ones can't be reflected. Okay, never mind. I forgot about that. The cuphead of it all. Okay. Every few seconds, a mark will appear underneath you. Deal deflecting in this direction deals damage based off of your deflect attribute. Oh, God. Sure. Now that seems like it's going to get tricky. Can't go sideways, right? Elite of sorts. Oh my. Okay. Oh, the yellow bullets. Huh. Huh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Your boomerang increases in size the more you deflect it. 
Two consecutive times you deflect the boomerang, it releases a damaging explosion when it's at the maximum distance away from you. I mean, the boomerang sounds fun. Just like the more you deflect it, it just sounds cool. Uh, might as well go to the one that has an option to go to either. Dude, I hate that. I mean, I'll, I'll certainly, gotcha. Okay, I, I do get it. There is totally a, um, like a little wind indicator. Is it sufficient for your first time playing? Maybe not, but then af everything after that is probably fine. Okay. I hated that though. Six deflects, turret that deflects nearby projectiles. Wait, we can upgrade this. The number of deflects required is reduced. Range increase, I'd rather have this. Uh, chance to play volatile, chance to play frozen, chance to play frozen. Interesting. Shop. Increase all your core attributes. Uh, deflected projectiles ricochet, hitting an additional enemy. Ooh. Next time you hit with your primary weapon, after you deflect, takes a bonus damage. That's not bad. Wait. Are you telling me we get another one? We can get another one? What's an upgrade? The number of deflects goes down even more. Sure. Health attribute, attack damage, damage. I keep on wanting to tap them. Yeah, I think that, that, like, aim in the direction to, you know, do the bonus. Okay, don't spawn me in that. I think that whole thing is, um, a little bit sketchy. Oh, my God. Get out. Where's the other guy? You there. How big, how big is it? Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Look at that go. Look at that go. Bye bye. Another mutation. Dead enemies heal. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, God, I can't get them lined up. I'm trying to get them lined up in the same uh, explosion, you know? Back it up. Back it up. These turrets are super nice. The thing is, they're going to be a trap at some point, though, when I find a uh, some yellow bullet-only enemies. Oh, boy. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Taking damage summons a decoy. After deflecting, takes bonus damage from you. Yeah. If we deflect, our next one does bonus damage. We saw that one in the shop. Cell exchange. I don't have that much, so I will go for the upgrade. Oops. Wait. Oh. There we go. Got him. want them going at the same space. I think I missed them already. Because you have like a little bit of a cooldown on your deflect, so you can't, um, you can't spam it. You can kind of spam it, but not like super spam it. Oh, uh, the yellow bullets got me. Okay, we got like another wave happening. Just, just throw a bunch of boomerangs right now. Huh. 
Okay, right, back it up. The deflect attribute up, sure. I mean, the damage we're taking is, uh, it, it hurts. We've got like a boss coming up, but I'm hoping it's going to be not too bad. I'm excited to not have to worry about the stupid giant worm. The Alaskan bullworm. Okay, back it up. Ah, the way to get the most uh, the most deflects per second is to walk towards it. You know, that was pretty cool. That nah, was pretty cool. Oh, he wait—he wasn't dead. He didn't die. That man didn't die. Okay. I do not like playing on the tracks. Sir. Got my alt saved for this as well. Let's see how it goes. Hello there. Oh, great. Ah. I don't know, man. There we go. There we go. No? Did not get it. Okay. Back it up. We got the free turrets, so we only have to worry about the yellow. That is something worth worrying about, though. Um. Oh. Shoot. Uh, back it up. Get out of my life. Bye bye. Can we like? No, we can't like. Ooh, you kind of can. You kind of actually can. Dash deflect back. That's that's hot. Not bad. Don't be alarmed. I'm Vendor. I've been keeping a close eye on you. You can definitely hold your own against. The visceral creatures. You have no idea how many they've killed. I also help Deflector by doing field work. I've dedicated myself by observing Apex viruses and learning how we can use their great power for our own benefit. This is a nucleus extractor. It'll activate right at the moment you kill those monstrous beasts, extracting a part of their core before they start to regenerate. In fact, you have one right there. Rock skin. Using your active ability envelops you in stone shell, making you invincible for a short period of time. Oh. Uh. Take your word for it. Didn't see how to activate that. I just... I don't particularly know the difference between the zones, so I think we just go left to right, yeah? Um, I do like the ability to get up towards the healing. Let's just focus on that. I mean, we'll see, man. Man explode on death? If he explodes, if anything explodes into pink on death, it's not that big of a deal. Zoop. You, sir. What do we got? Scoot, scoot. I don't know what that absorby thing is. What, th that's poison. That's poison. One million percent that's poison. Deflect your boomerang 500 times achievement. <laughs> I'll, ta I'll take it. Sounds about right. Dead enemies heal nearby ones. I don't know what this little thing is that I just did. 
Yeah. It's too tough to keep two going at the same time. Uh, deflect attribute. I gotta admit, deflecting is the most fun part of deflector, which is good that they have, you know, gotten that happening. Just 25. Can I pay for more? No. Oh, God. These are sketchy. The last one was terrifying. But I think that was mostly because the map. Don't tell me this... This son of a gun goes away? Dude. That's brutal. Okay. I mean, there's like a meter... So it doesn't matter too much. A few seconds of mark range increased. Uh, I'll take the bolster strike instead. I don't know how... If I'm using that deflect in a certain direction thing, it's on accident, right? Okay, so it doesn't matter if we, you stand in the poison for a second. It really doesn't at all. It's a meter. Uh. Okay. I'm not, like, sold on, uh, like, ever really using the double. It just makes you- makes me less likely to get my normal deflects going, huh? Uh, god, you really want me to do it, huh? Let's get another bolstered strike. I'm deflecting my projectile, uh, or my boomerang, like, a lot anyways, so... I tried there. There we go, we got two going. It goes away when- okay, it actually goes away when the- when it's done. I didn't know that. Okay. Whoop. So that doesn't... It, it's even less exciting for me to use that. I bet you it's, like, way better if you're using your attack stats, though. If you're not really doing a deflect focus build, I bet you the, uh, the E move is a lot more exciting. Okay. What's health precious? Healing is so limited, man. It is so limited. Okay. Oh god. Oh, it's breaking my brain with the, um, with my little reflector turret. Yeah, it's, it's actually busting me up. Okay, this guy's no joke. He's no joke. Side boomerang, you throw an additional boomerang, but your boomerangs deal less. No. Uh, yeah, explosive boomerang, we saw that earlier. Every two... Okay, we're, we're like... We're dying so soon. Dude. Some enemies have a, an invincibility aura? You what, mate? Okay. Oh. Oh, no, you can't cheese it because it, has to, it explodes on the, uh, the max radius. I don't know where like the enemies are. Oh, we have a meet. We have a pointer. We got it back. Does the pointer show up the whole time, or is it only after you've like been on the map for a, a tinge? Okay, watch the yellow. I love our turrets. Like, I mean, to be fair, they're really good, but we super upgraded them. 
Dashing fires a homing laser, taking damage, causing you to release a wave uh, that destroys projectiles and deals damage based off your health. I'm not like wowed by either for me right now. My attack stat is not that high. All right. All right, live this so we can at least get 25 back. Check for yellow. Whoop. You there? Like those. Holy moly. It takes a, l a lot to keep things active mentally. Oop. Zoop. Oh, God. Not to mention, like, thinking about dashing, dashing, and then immediately keeping things clean and reflecting as well. I'm glad we got that, though. Man. If the meta progress is like, you know, now you heal for a hundred, you heal to full, or you have like twice as much health, yada yada, I, I hope to God that's not the case. Enemies teleport to a random location, huh? Okay. I'm trying to use my um, directional reflector thing. Yeah. I mean, a range up on it would be beneficial, I can't deny. When you line them up, when you can line them up like that, it is so strong, though. It takes a bit. I do stand by the fact that I think that... Um, just the standard attack build instead of a deflect build, like focusing more on that, would be really helpful. I'll get a health attribute just to see what it does. Okay, it heals me. Wait. It healed me for 10, right? Okay. Seems like it maybe healed me a little extra. You move slowly? That's okay. I think other builds would maybe care a bit more. I've got my nice little turrets. I do like this poison system. It's not so, like... I hate the ones where it's just, like, you step in poison and you're immediately taking damage. Like, unavoidable damage stuff. You know? Ow. Ow. I think it's... I think that's bad design to have that, so I'm really glad they didn't go that route. Uh, killing an enemy summons a laser orb for a few seconds. The orb attacks nearby enemies, doing damage based off of your attack. Dashing generates an energy wall that deflects projectiles, dealing damage based off your deflect. There can only be one wall at a time. I'm thinking about the fact that we've got a boss right here, and like if I could just kill the boss, I'd feel I think I'd feel satisfied with myself. Oh god, I hope it doesn't last that long. I want to check and see if it. Oh, we're also we can also build up deflect their bits and bobs. Mm. Okay, but they only last for a certain amount of time. I guess I have to get in the middle. So I guess that's where my wall is. Oh. be cool if there's like an upgrade somewhere that lets you that lets you reflect yo what that lets you reflect the yellow ones is what I was gonna say dude we're dead here oh this thing is nuts what the hell Oh my god.
that just that spinny move is that he's got is, is wild. Okay. Got the double reflect going, that helps. Here it comes, maybe? Dude, it, it just breaks me. It's not, I don't think it's actually that bad. What the, wait, what the hell? What? <laughs> I'll take it. Using your active, oh, using your active ability creates it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Durations increase? Sure. Yeah, that, that, there was a lot going on there that just, just broke me. <laughs> Okay. I am dying so bad. Man, the lack of healing. I'm going to assume that there's like a meta progress thing that helps you with regenerating more efficiently. Because like healing 25 like once a zone ain't too high. Thank you. It is free, though. It is free, though. Enemies always spawn a blood bomb. I mean, if a blood bomb is just uh, pink stuff. Yeah, we got lasers. We got, like, unreflectable lasers to worry about now. Noticeably more yellow bullets around as well. Uh-oh. Get my shield on. I don't I'm not gonna trust the shield. I'm assuming it's just as long as that visually is there. Oh god. Oh, I'm I'm breaking. I'm breaking, I tell you. When you lose the flow state of reflecting, it's like a rhythm game when you just miss a note. You just start missing all the notes. You also have spikes kind of just coming out of the ground literally everywhere. Oh! Uh, what? Man just did like an AoE damage blast to me in melee range. I will take the health attribute because we are dying in that. I know it gives us health and it's one of the few ways we can seemingly get it back. There's another health up there so we can get two per zone. Oh God, what is this? Just keep, keep our distance as much as we can because I'm going to assume that the pinky stuff can hurt me. Yeah, it's spikes. It's secret spikes. Ooh! I hate- Ooh! Ooh, I hate that screen effect. Oh, I hate that screen effect. Holy crap, that's such a bad idea. <laughs> that bright red. Uh, we got a new mutation. Well, your active skill is charged. Every attack releases several projectiles. That's cool. Hit by a deflected projectile. This enemies have a chance to be struck by lightning. Entering a room, you have receive a shield that blocks incoming damage for a few seconds. Cool. Uh, deflect three. Deflecting three or more projectiles causes you to electrocute nearby enemies as you move. Killing two or more enemies within a short time summons a lightning bolt to strike a nearby enemy. Main weapon has a chance to deflect projectiles. Dealing damage based on your deflect. That's very cool. All right. Proficiency. Complete, complete the game once to unlock Bioshell proficiency. Curious. Hunter trophies. Another iteration dead, but don't worry, you'll get used to it. The good part is that you'll remember everything, so you're now stronger and better than before. But let me explain how, how I can come in handy to you. All the DNA samples you've collected were safely extracted. The more we collect, the more we learn about the virus, allowing us to develop new ways to fight it. Proceed to the upgrade station for demonstration. I mean, 
Where's the upgrade station? I, it looked like it would have been this. Perhaps here? So these are the characters. I'm very curious to see what the new characters are like. Here you can acquire upgrades, both permanent and activated. These upgrades will grant you effects that help you during the experiment. Let me introduce you to our main worker. Healing device that allows you to restore 25% of your health between zones. Jesus, that's huge. Uh, cell rooms have a 50% chance of having an additional selling slot with a discount. The healing platform restores 15 additional health. A cell exchange location will appear before every Apex virus. Yeah, those are some pretty hefty ones. Wait. Uh, activated enhancements provide useful effects, but you can only have a certain amount. Okay, I like that system. I like that system. We have... These are, like, your permanent progression that, like, are absolutely game-changing from, like, a core mechanic standpoint. And these are going to be, like... God, five health every time you complete a, a mutation room? That is a lot. I mean, health is below 30%, you do 50% more. Yeah. I mean, I certainly wish, just because of how this game is, like... I don't know. It's it's a very cool, arcade-y... I don't know. It feels very, like, technical, skill-rewarding kind of an action roguelike. It feels very strange to have such hefty meta progress in it. This is Carl OS. He provides you with useful data. I recommend you have him talk to him at the other time. Okay. Alphabetical categorization was rejected, meaning I'll need to get back to organizing them by the number of cords again. But that breaks the order of acquisition because, ah, it's you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Carl OS, and I am, and my duty here is to collect samples and analyze them well, because we need to make sure why, that we understand what we're fighting. But now with you around, I know we're no longer have to perform the field research. Talk to me at any time. You want to view your current research project. Okay. So you are just telling me, you're more or less saying, like, I really like this system. There's a, there's so much I like here that it is just so strange. It's, it's so strange to have such hefty meta progress on, in a game that is so mechanically rewarding like this. I don't know. It feels at odds with the core like concept, but uh, it, it's so cool regardless. I don't even like doesn't bother me that much, especially because uh, I really like when games do it this way. People ask me a lot of times like, well. If I have to add like a strength meta progress system, how do you, how should I do it? Do it kind of like this, like the Hollow Knight, uh, you know, like the Paper Mario badge system or the Hollow Knight system of uh, just like, and I know those aren't even roguelikes, but I'm just saying, um, having, you know, the ability to buy a lot of different upgrades, but you can only equip a certain amount of them makes it so your grind is low, but you always have something you can work towards and you can always have variability. So you're unlocking options and vari variations while you're upgrading your strength. If you have to have a strength upgrade system, that's how I usually think it is the best way of doing it. It uh, sacrifices the least integrity of, like, you know, the actual gameplay. <laughs> but uh, this game is super cool. I really like it. I would I would love to play more. Like, that, that little, the little nitpick aside, it's so cool. It's such a fun game. I, I wish that I knew what the game was like when you had all of these unlocked, because I bet you it's um, a lot easier. Like, uh, to the point where... I don't know. I wonder if it's going to be... I wonder if it's going to be too easy, right? Like, when you have all this stuff unlocked, is the game going to be too easy? Because these are pretty major. I don't know. Alas, alas. Uh, Deflector. Out in 1.0 on the 24th. You can pick it up right now already on Steam, though, and play it before then. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. I cover roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.